What's up, Tactulians? You hooligans out there in digital DJ land. I'm here with a new tutorial. This is possibly one of my more academic but practical concepts that I've come up with in a while. It's called mixing on a stage. In Tractor, we've got four decks and four songs, and I want you to think of those four songs as characters in a play. And so what we're gonna do is kind of move the characters forward, backwards on the stage, let them highlight their performance, and each be speaking at a different time. And it's the combination of these four characters that create a unique story. So I'm gonna do a demonstration for you. Uh, it's some songs I pulled together last night, and I'm gonna use a very popular song right now to really illustrate the idea of a theme. So the four characters that I'm gonna constantly use, and you can recycle this concept, are as follows. First, a background or backdrop, much like we have our standard backdrop here. The easiest backdrop is a drum loop. At some point, I'm gonna set four bar loop maybe grab some uh, snares. That's our constant backdrop that's gonna run through the whole mix. Next, we're gonna introduce our theme. Now the theme is the musical backbone of the whole piece. It's something that kind of weaves in and out of the mix. Eventually, you might hear this full song, but in the beginning, we're just establishing a key or a common theme. So let's listen to our theme. I'd used a four count loop here so that it is musical, but can fit into a lot of different things. If I were to lengthen the loop, you immediately know what song it is, and there's a whole musical story being told here. So by just grabbing this little disco loop here, I can weave this theme in and out of my mix. So that's our theme. We've got the backdrop. Now they're a little off, so let's reset that. Now we might want to affect the theme and kind of make it into something new. So I'll add a little effects here. Now that's kind of cool because we just have one note. Now it takes on a whole different characteristic. Now let's add our first main character. Push this guy back. Now this is the first guy that's gonna tell the full story. So we're gonna let this song play out. So now we've got three people on the stage. We've got our supporting cast right here. We've got our theme kind of creeping in there. And then we've got the main track that's right in front. You can let this ride for a while, thin it out, play around with it. So most plays would be super boring if we just had one lead character. We need a complementing lead character to come in and transition out of this first actor. So let's introduce our second character with, again, a four bar loop and just the bass line at the drop. Now this particular character is more in harmony with our theme. So you can already hear the resolution starting to creep in. Let's drop a loop on that big yeah in the background. So that character recedes to the back. Let's change places. And now let's hear the full story.
Okay, so now that second lead character is starting to recede into the background. Let's set a loop there and bring our theme in. I'm bringing all the effects off so it's coming to the front. You could ride this for a while, but when you're ready, let's release the loop and let that theme now play the main character. Oh, so sweet. Let's reduce that background. Like the legend of the Phoenix. <laughs> All ends with beginnings. So now we have three characters. What keeps the planet spinning? We've got our B character, our supporting actor, that's kind of sitting back. Our theme has become our main character, and we still have this guy in the background keeping it all together. All right, DJ Tech Tools, so uh, two things. Number one, we've got another video of the actual full mix or what I just showed you in a longer format, so you can listen to that and see it in full context. And secondly, I want to see what you create. I want you to take this concept and give me your own story, and we're gonna feature the very best one on the blog. So here's the elements you'll wanna pick. Number one, a good backdrop. Could be a beat, could be a rhythm, could be whatever you want. Two, a recognizable theme. Three, a cool lesser known underground track that supports that theme. Ideally, there would be some musical conflict. In this example, my theme was in 11A and my underground track was in 10A, creating some tension there. Finally, you'll wanna resolve your theme with a, a bigger track, something that harmonizes it in the same key for a big resolution. You get extra points if you continue the cycle twice create your own video, post it as a video response to this video, and the winner, the one that I think is the very best musically and creatively, will end up on the blog at djtechtools.com.